Welcome to Enscape 3.3. In this video, we will explore how to use the new features introduced with the latest Enscape update. We will have a look at the new site context feature, which quickly lets you add and explore the real world surrounding to your design. The alpha channel feature, which offers renderings to be exported without background so you can embed your artificial renders into real life imagery. The pin to top checkbox, introducing a new way of working with Enscape on a single screen, have the Enscape window hover above your design software while working. Material overwrite, directly import materials from the Enscape material library to replace existing ones in your design for a smoother workflow. Let's have a look. The site context feature allows you to embed your design effortlessly into its real life environment using data from OpenStreetMap. To use it, simply click the Site Context button in the Enscape user interface or press the O key on your keyboard. This will open the Site Context tab. It's empty at first in any given project file. Click Add Site Context to pick a destination for your design. This will open a new window, providing a map to choose your project location. If you have set a location before using the geolocation features of your host design application, Enscape will propose this by default. Alternatively, you can enter an address or coordinates in the search bar. Enscape will place a marker on the target location, surrounded by a square indicating the extent of the scene that's going to be loaded as site context. Grab the marker to move the project location manually. You can zoom in too using the mouse wheel or the plus and minus buttons in the bottom right corner. Zooming in will unveil a 2D representation of your design. Zooming in far enough, you can choose to rotate the model too by grabbing the rotation handle. Click the Fit to Location button to center the environment around your model again. You can also grab the boundaries of the selection square to widen the environment geometry being loaded into your visualization. However, don't make it all too large, as this can negatively impact your landscape performance. You can rotate the shape of the square as well. Lastly, you may choose whether to load in just the buildings and landmarks, just streets and sidewalks, the topography or all three layers at once. Click Import to load the site context into your Enscape visualization. Note that the geometry will only be imported and will only exist in Enscape. It's not being synchronized into your host design application. After a short loading time, the site context geometry will appear in your Enscape window. You can further continue to fine-tune the placement. For this, click the three lines here in the site context tab. Then select Edit Site Context. This will switch the site context into a transparent state and add coordinate input fields in the bottom left corner, along with two buttons to choose Translate or Rotate mode. You may know this already from the Asset Placement workflow. You can now grab the environment and either move or rotate it. In Translate mode, Left-click the transparent site context and hold the left mouse button while moving the mouse to move it on the horizontal axis. You can hold Ctrl on your keyboard while moving the site context to move it up and down instead. Once you're happy with the placement, press Confirm Changes to return to the site context interface. If your design now overlaps with any site context geometry, Return to the Site Context menu and select Hide Overlapping Data. This will automatically hide any Site Context geometry that overlaps with your design. In this menu, you can also select Update Site Context to choose a different location, Reset Visibility to unhide any hidden parts, and Remove Site Context to remove the environment entirely. Additionally, you can click the Eye icon to hide or unhide the site context temporarily, or select individual buildings, streets or landmarks to hide or unhide from the list view. At the bottom, you also have the chance to hide the native site, 
If you have set up a landscape in your design application, you can hide it using the eye next to this entry. With Enscape 3.3, if you go to the Visual Settings Output tab, the checkbox Export Object ID, Material ID and Depth Channel now also exports an alpha channel, a black and white mask representing your model and empty background. When this option is enabled, it will be exported next to any still images you render. Even more convenient though, if you export your still image renderings as PNG file, you can enable Apply Alpha Channel right here. This will export the image with the background already removed. So you can open it with Photoshop or any other image editing software that supports layers and add any image directly into the background. Have you ever wanted Enscape to stay at the top of your design application? See your changes update right away without the Enscape window moving to the background whenever you click your working model? Well, by popular demand, with Enscape 3.3 we have added just that. You can find the option in the Renderer Window Settings Preferences tab, enable Pin Enscape Window on top of the host application to keep the window from disappearing behind your CAD software. Work freely without being interrupted by the need to move the Enscape window back on top. This last one is another real beauty for your workflow. Enscape provides a material editor you can enhance your native materials with. Enscape also provides a material library containing a huge selection of preset materials to enrich your scene with quickly and easily. The Material Override feature enables you to combine both in a sleek workflow to get the Enscape materials in your design as comfortable as possible. For any existing material in your design, click the three dots next to its name in the Enscape Material Editor and select Replace with Enscape Material. This will open the material library, asking you to choose an Enscape material to replace the original material with. Click a material to see it represented in the Enscape visualization immediately. Once you've found one you like the most, click the Replace button. The original material will stay assigned to the existing geometry and keep all the additional information it may hold, but its visual features will be replaced with the selected material. All right. We hope the additions to the Enscape feature set we're introducing with the new release will help you work even more effortlessly than before. Reduce obstacles in your workflow with the Pin on Top option and Material Override, and add background to your designs using the Side Context and Alpha channel. Don't miss out on the other additions included in the new release, like SketchUp 2022 support, view synchronization improvements for Revit and Archicad, transparent materials and reflections, new educational assets and materials, and more. You can read all about it on our website or in the blog post linked in the description. Download the installer for Enscape 3.3 using the link provided in the description below. Most importantly, have lots of fun and success working with Enscape. Stay safe and we'll see you for the release of Enscape 3.4.